it's a scorcher out there, and it has been for months now. Even into October, temperatures remain in the hundreds. And for the city of Phoenix, concerns over climate change are top of mind. With 117 this Saturday, I know it's been on all of our minds. We are trying to make sure the city does everything we can to be more comfortable. Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego spoke with ABC 15 about how that'll happen following the release this week of the city's 2024 Climate Action Plan Progress Report. It highlights the ways the city has grown and must continue to grow to keep up with the changes in our climate and environment. <laughs> Comfortable living in Phoenix heat looks in part like more trees. The city hopes to get up to a 75% shade canopy. You should see more art projects that create shade canopies. We've shown you how city streets have gotten a makeover, a lighter gray coating that will reflect more heat, not absorb it. Some really good news. We are down 20.5% since 2012 in our emissions. So we are growing, but we're doing it in a more sustainable way. Right now, Phoenix's biggest contributor to gas emissions is transportation, followed by stationary energy like buildings. And finally, a very small amount is from waste. But still, there's room to grow in order to reach the city's long-term goals. Drought remains a concern. The city of Phoenix is very focused on planning to protect our water supply. We are storing water. We're building infrastructure, including a very important drought pipeline that gives us more flexibility should we have a tougher drought. And air quality is a key issue. We have a challenge right now with air quality from dust particles to ozone. Phoenix will have even more solar power in the future, as voters have already approved bond funding for solar panels to reduce city energy bills. The city has also seen growing numbers of recycling and green organic yard waste, diverting them from landfills. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just.